Hello there, gang, and welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behaviour, the Earth's mightiest video podcast. And today it's another episode of What's the Story, where I tell you what the story is behind the newest Marvel Legends coming out. And on the show today, it's the deluxe angel figure, which, even if you don't know the story, dang, this guy looks pretty. I'm a big angel fan, so seeing this one revealed, I thought, yeah this one's gonna have to get got, because it's the first feather-winged angel that we've had in years and years, and it looks like they really did injustice. But the question is, where does this costume come from? And the answer is not that easy, because he's had different permutations and versions of this look all throughout history. And honestly, Angel has had some pretty dubious comic looks throughout the years. So the origins of this costume I can mostly trace back to early issues of Uncanny X-Men, where he has this look, but he's got yellow gloves and boots. For whatever reason, he was doing the washing up. He's got the marigolds on and then goes out to fight crime. But then he kind of shelves this look and tries a few different ones. And also, I didn't realize until doing this research, yeah, I do do research occasionally. Not well, but I do do it. Angel joins a whole bunch of superhero teams other than the X-Men. First of all, we have the Champions, who was actually, that was a fun superhero team because it was such a mismatch of characters. Off the top of my head, I think it was Angel, Ghost Rider, Black Widow, Hercules, and Iceman. And these guys had a reasonable run for a little while. And I think there was a part in the story where Warren's suit gets all messed up, which is probably a good thing because, woof, state of your costume, mate. And he brings back this old X-Men look. I think he has like a press agent who says, hey, don't worry, I got this costume for you. And he's like, mm, I don't know, it's a bit X-Men, but okay. So he wears it and it's a a little bit different from what we're used to, but that's a pretty close example of this red halo look that we go for. And then shortly after that, he also joins another team called the Defenders. There was an earlier Defenders, and then we got the new Defenders. And again, he brings Iceman with him, Beast is in this team as well. I think Moondragon, Valkyrie. Again, it's a weird mismatch assortment. But what I love about Marvel Legends is because you have so many random BC D-list characters that you can put together these great random teams that I didn't even know existed. So that's really fun and we get a better look and example of him wearing this costume. And then it kind of goes back and forth with him doing different permutations and different looks. I used the word permutation before but man it's a good word. Just looking back at old issues of the champions I see that they fought Swarm. He was a big bad guy for them and Man, I'd love to get a Marvel Legend of Swarm. Just a crazy, mad scientist made out of bees and a skeleton inside with a purple cape. So toyetic, kind of random that we haven't had that yet. And then also in the Defenders, they fight some great supervillains as well, some of which you can put together. They have a team of Titanium Man, uh, the Crimson Dynamo, and the Griffin as well. Griffin would be so much fun. Giant Lion Man with wings. That's a, that, that's a builder figure waiting to happen. And then also you could get the select titanium man, that would work really well, and select for doing a crimson dynamo too. Dude, you could put, I, I love mixing and matching lines. You can put all those together, have them fighting your, your team with Black Widow and Hercules. Boy, see, that's what I love about action figures. Just, just mashing things together and creating these old stories. Yeah, whenever I do videos like this, it reminds me why I love this hobby so much. So that's kind of where this Archangel or Angel design comes from. It's an easy habit to call him Archangel, but we know he hasn't got to the Archangel stage yet. And then he moves over to X Factor with the five original X-Men, and he has another version of the costume, but it doesn't have the halo. It's got more of that X kind of look to it. I kind of like the uniformity of their designs where they all had that X kind of theming going on there. That was pretty cool. Never got this version in Marvel Legends form though. And then it was shortly after that, of course, that he has the run-in with the Marauders and he gets his wings pinned to the wall and Apocalypse turns him into a horseman. And after that, he kind of goes to the blue version, which I'm hoping we do get. I'm hoping that Marvel Legends are thinking, yeah. Yeah, we can just repaint this into the blue version, which I'd be happy with. Give us the blue head and the metal wings as well. 
I'd be all down for that because we do have the metal winged Archangel in a deluxe figure, but I'm just not a big fan of that. It's on the old Bucky Cat body. He's got four different heads, which are great, but none of them really, I think, capture the character that well. So a new do-over of the metal winged Archangel, I'd love to see it. But in the meantime, we got this deluxe feathery boy and man, I really dig this design. Because also this is something that was really popular in the 80s and 90s is the kind of mask design where it's just the open face and the open hair, but this going up the sides. I don't really know practically how it kind of works and fits that well, but hey, Cyclops, Gambit, Sabretooth and a whole bunch of others wear that look and there's just something very superhero comic-y about it. And I kind of dig that. And gang, that is the story for Warren Worthington in this particular costume. It's pieced together, essentially, from different elements and different comics and runs and historical little tidbits. But when you put them all together, this kind of forms one of the most iconic Archangel looks, or Angel looks. I said before, it's a little, a little brain thing I can't get over. He's always going to be Archangel to me. It's one of the most quintessential Angel looks, even though it's been pieced together in different ways. Because also, when you see him appear in various cartoon appearances, boom, they'll go for this look, ideally without the marigolds, which is good. It's a much nicer, more clean design when it's just the two colors going on there with the halo. That looks really, really great. But yeah, I think in Wolverine and the X-Men, he appears like this, possibly his first appearance in the 92 show as well. He pops up a few times and this seems to be the go-to look for Angel. And if you wanna have him on your shelf, then this is the go-to look to go for as well. I really dig this. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on him. And when I do, you know there's gonna be a review coming up of him. So gang, what do you think about this character? What do you think about his design? Comment below, let me know. And until next time, Keep displaying model behavior.